find P and Q where P and Q are prime numbers and the equation x squared plus the x plus q to the power of four equals zero has integer solutions. This video contains the following sections. Reading the problem carefully and understanding it. Developing a plan to solve it. Solving the problem. Thinking about it further and try to apply the approach to other problems. Near the end of the video, there's an additional question which can be solved using a similar approach to that used for solving the specific problem. If you find these helpful, please subscribe to the channel for notification of new videos by pressing the video watermark in the right hand corner of the video player. The quadratic equation has integer solutions. So P is greater than or equal to 2Q squared. P and Q are prime. So they are either odd or two. By Vieta's formulas, we know that the sum of the two roots is equal to minus p and the product of the two roots is equal to q to the power of 4. Then we can work out the parity and the sign of the two roots. Then we can derive that q is even. So q equals 2. Finally, we can work out p. Vieta's formulas. The roots r1, r2 of ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero satisfy r1 plus r2 equals minus b over a r1 times r2 equals c over a let x1 and x2 the integer solutions of x squared plus px plus q to the power of 4 equals 0. We have x1 plus x2 equals minus p x1 times x2 equals q to the power of 4 because x1 times x2 equals q to the power of 4 is greater than 0. So x1 and x2 have the same sign because x1 plus x2 equals minus p is less than 0. So x1 is less than 0. x2 is less than 0. Without loss of generality, 
we assume x1 is greater than or equal to x2 because x1 times x2 equals q to the power of 4. So x1, x2 can be minus 1 minus q to the power of 4. 4 minus q minus q cubed or minus q squared minus q squared if x1 x2 equals minus q minus q cubed then minus q plus minus q cubed equals minus q times 1 plus q squared equals minus p, which implies that p is its prime. This is a contradiction, so x1, x2 can't be minus q, minus q cubed. Similarly, if x1, x2 equals minus q squared minus q squared then minus q squared plus minus q squared equals minus 2q squared equals minus p which implies that p isn't prime this is a contradiction so x1 x2 can't be minus q squared, minus q squared. So x1, x2 can only be minus 1, minus q to the power of 4, because x squared plus px plus q to the power of 4 equals zero as integer solutions. So p squared minus 4q to the power of 4 is greater than or equal to zero. That is, p is greater than or equal to 2q squared. So p must be odd because x1 plus x2 equals minus p. So x1 plus x2 is odd. That is minus 1 minus q to the power of 4 is odd. So q to the power of 4 is even. So q is even because q is prime and it's even, so q equals 2, so p equals minus x1 plus x2 equals minus minus 1 minus q to the power of 4 equals 17. Think about the thought process for the previous question further and try to apply the approach to other problems, such as this one, given that m and n are prime numbers and x squared minus mx plus n equals zero as positive integer solutions. Find m and n. You can write your answers in the comments section if you like. If you have any mathematics questions of interest, you can write these 
in the comments section if you like. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. See you next time.